everybody. So um, I'm in a different room, as you can see. This is my living room in my house. Um, I haven't really ever done a video outside of my room, so you can kind of see a little bit of my uh, house. Um, I thought I would do a fashion video. So today I'll just show you what I'm wearing. I haven't put any jewelry on yet, which I probably should have because I want to put jewelry on, but I'll just show you what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this uh, kind of a nightgown slip thing that's gray from Urban Outfitters and it's kind of see-through. And then under I have these little lace um, bike short things which I've worn under my American Apparel green dress which I've shown in, an, in another fashion video. And then I have a white, I'm not a white, a skin colored um, camisole under. So kind of simple but kind of cool um, neutrals, dark colors and stuff. And then um, my makeup today I have on um, orange and black. And I actually got this idea from a tutorial from Pixie Woo, which everyone's pretty familiar with. but. Um, it's a pretty recent one that she did, I think. So I tried it out and I kind of like it. Um, also I wanted to mention in this video, which I don't know if people have problems with this foundation, but I bought it last Christmas and I've only used it a few times and I really don't like it, like at all. And it's a MAC foundation and it's this one, the Studio Sculpt. And I don't know what it is, but maybe I have a bad batch or something, but it's really, um, it just gets really, like, cakey looking. And I've tried, you know, barely any on, um, but it just doesn't work on my skin. It's way too heavy. It just looks like you can really see that you're wearing it. And I'm actually wearing it today. And it looks okay on the camera. I mean, it's it's very good at covering up, but it's like really, really heavy, I think. And so I tried another trick from another person I subscribed to. I forgot the name, but it's a guy. And he had, um, he used a sponge, like makeup sponges, which I have. And he used it um, when it's a little bit damp to use on things like this. So I tried that today, and it worked a little bit, I think, but it still isn't what I like. I really don't like it because I don't have anything on my face that I really need to cover up super, like, intensely. Um, so it kind of just makes my face look dry, and, like, you can really tell I'm wearing foundation. So I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about this, if anyone has used it. Again, it's this one, and I use, mine is in... NC15. Um, I don't know. If all MAC foundations are like this, then I'm probably not going to get any more. So tell me which ones that you guys like from MAC because I'm thinking about getting a new foundation. That is, um, I'm going to try and get a lower priced one and a higher priced one to compare and so I don't have to, um, I mean I'm not going to use them but one every day so I can kind of save by using two. Um, so yeah, so I don't know which one to get next, but I know I'm not going to be getting this. I mean, it's I haven't even barely used it. But anyway, I just wanted to know what people thought about it because I really don't like it. And yeah, that's really it. Um, so I guess what I would really want in a foundation is kind of I guess light coverage. I mean, I don't really need anything. I found that tinted moisturizers are really um, things that I like. I think they're really good for my skin. So I guess I would want something that's kind of sheer, but not too sheer. And not really heavy either, because I just, I really hate it. Um, so yeah, um, that's really it. And I'll show you guys my uh, thing again. It's kind of gross because you can see my bra straps, but that's really unattractive. But whatever. <laughs> I'm just going to be babysitting today, so I don't need to wear anything tremendously special. Anyways, so yeah, that's my outfit for today and my little rant about this. So tell me what you guys think about it and everything. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.